So what is happening now? What is happening now is that you are coming to the recognition of yourself. How are you coming to the recognition of yourself? You are using the three clues. You are finding out what is it that witnesses all phenomena. What witnesses every phenomenal movement, everything with any attribute, any quality. Including that which witnesses the sense of space. So the sage has said, the witness of all the elements and the space in which the elements are included. So this is the first clue. This witness. What is the second clue? We are finding that which is unchanging. Has no past or future. And third clue is that it has to be your direct insight, although unlike most other experiences, you will not be able to call this a phenomenal experience. So in a way we can say it is your only non-phenomenal experience. As you are coming to this recognition of the self, you will find that to believe the story of the mind, which is the opposite of your own insight, which is saying that you are a phenomenal object, You are full of change and you are perceived through the power of perception, just like any other object. 
this is what the mind is saying every time it gives you the story of your limited objective existence which is actually contrary to your own insight about yourself that is why you will find that it becomes more and more difficult to believe what the mind is saying what the mind is saying becomes more and more laughable unrelatable and as it becomes more and laughable then you find you have more and more space for this recognition <coughs> see so that's why i call this the virtuous cycle the recognition aids the dropping of the conditioning the disbelief in the mind and the disbelief in the mind aids the recognition that's how the play operates notice how much allegiance we've had to this mind even now many times even when we are in satsang we are believing mental conclusions about even the words of satsang notice the various poses of this mind and it poses as a judge saying yes yes this is right this is right no oh, no this i don't do like that it's like a judge sitting over there confirming or denying what it is hearing even in satsang then sometimes it become like a judge sometimes it poses as if it is the frustrated one i don't think i'm really getting any of this you see this is all this is beyond me i'm so tired of spirituality and the search for freedom it's pointless it's meaningless not getting anywhere you see this kind of pose then sometimes when the recognition happens so beautifully it also comes in that ah enlightened pose i got it i am that <laughs> all these various masks of the mind see auditioning to your attention as guruji says it is coming up with all these poses to audition for you which mask are you going to pick up now we be empty of these masks so what a master is doing actually is unmasking you something is feeling drawn towards the master and yet the master doesn't want to meet you through the obstacle through the prism of this mask so he's saying throw this away so we can meet as one throw this away so we meet as one so if the if the words like position or reference can seem confusing you know that i'm speaking about this mask what is this persona pose facade that we 
are presuming about ourselves because just because the mind is selling us a story. Why would we believe something which is contrary to our own inside? Am I saying? Am I saying just because I'm saying it, you believe it? No, I'm saying you find using these three clues, you find out what you are, and you stay with that insight. What your discovery is, irrespective of what the mind is saying, for some time. And don't be so quick to say, I didn't get it, or I'm not able to get it, or I got it. Neither of these conclusions is valid. Because even that can become a pose, even that can become a mask. Remain in this empty, maskless nakedness. In spite of all the mental attacks, all the feelings of shame or guilt. This wobbliness will not last. Don't be fearful of it. I have crossed this river of wobbliness, so I can also tell you that it doesn't last. Just like somebody standing on the shore saying, come, come, cross, nothing will happen. Just come. Is it? You have nothing to be afraid of. You will not die. In fact, you will discover your deathless reality. Just by following these small, simple pointers, all it needs is a little bit of openness, dropping the arrogance of your prior knowledge, coming to the innocence of a child, come to the discovery of your self. This is what Jesus meant when he said, only the babes will enter the kingdom of heaven. We are becoming babies now because life is playing that way. What does it mean to run out of moves? It only means this. We don't know where to go, what to do. All our concepts are not helping us. There's a deeper longing now to come home, to that home which we never really left, but we just dreamt that we are far from it. 